Good day, my name is Faye Diane Achua, Development Management Officer for Pharmacy Advisor of the Health Facility Development Bureau. Today, I will give the overview of the DOH Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual, 4th edition. Okay, the outline for this presentation is as follows. First, the introduction, followed by the overview of the Hospital Pharmacy Management Management Manual 4th Edition, and last, the Hospital Pharmacy Standard Self-Assessment Tool. Okay, a little background of our Bureau. We are under the Health Facilities and Infrastructure Development Team, headed by Yusek Lilibet David. The Health Facility Development Bureau, headed by Maria Teresa Givera, has an administrative unit and three functional divisions, namely Policy Planning and Program Development Division, Health Systems Development and Management Support Division, and Research and Performance Management Division. Our mandate, first, we develop plans, policies, programs, and strategies on health facility development planning, operation, and management. Second, we provide coordination, technical assistance, capacity building, consulting, and advisory services related to health facility development planning, operation, and management. And third, we advise the set Secretary and Undersecretary of Health on matters pertaining to health facility development planning, operation, and management. So the main topic of this presentation is the DH Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual for the edition. Okay, so let me clarify first that this that the third edition of this manual may still serve as a reference for the parts where there are no updates yet, and this has been trimmed down from the previous 19 chapters to 14 chapters. Also, it is this uh, edition is more concise, focusing more on the citing of issuances, standards, and guidelines uh, from the previous, which is more uh, lecture type. Okay, the Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual was developed together with the other hospital operation standards of the HFDB. Uh, in support of the Integrated Hospital Operations and Management Program and the Continuing Quality Improvement Program. It also supports the mandates of the Pharmacy Practice Standards and Professional Conducts by Republic Act 10918 or the Philippine Pharmacy Act. Okay, as mentioned, uh, the, uh, the Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual uh, was developed in support of the, these two programs. First, the Integrated Hospital Operations and Management Program more commonly known as the IHOMP, okay, um, which is the which is a set of guidelines which aims to improve efficiency and effectiveness of healthcare services through creation and use of information for clinical, administrative, and monitoring purposes. And the second is the Continuous Quality Improvement Program, which is the performance management arm of the National Quality Framework in Health. It ensures that all consumers receive the highest quality and most cost-effective health services through the development and maintenance of a qualified, diverse, and accessible multidisciplinary network, care, and service organization. Okay, so the Health Farm Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual for the edition has three parts. The first part, or the Hospital Pharmacy Administration, has four chapters. Part two, the Pharmacy Operations and Procedures, has eight chapters. And the last part, or the Continuous Quality Improvement for Pharmacy Service, has two chapters, totaling 14 chapters. It also includes a Clinical Pharmacy Monitoring Tool and Hospital Pharmacy Standard Self-Assessment Tool. Okay, for Chapter 1, it discusses the vision, mission, and goals services under the pharmacy. Chapter 2, or the Organization and Personnel, discusses the leadership wherein the pharmacy is headed by a licensed pharmacist with appropriate training, education, uh, and uh, skills. Uh, it also discusses the organizational structure when the, where in the pharmacy may be, uh, un, may be generally supervised by the chief medical professional staff or the chief of clinics. And uh, there's also the qualification standards, recommended qualification standards and job descriptions in this chapter. For the third chapter, or the Hospital Pharmacy Operational Requirements, uh, it discusses the statutory and regulatory requirements by the Health uh, Food and Drug Administration, the DOH HFSRB, 
and the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Also, it uh, follows the local and international rec regulatory requirements uh, for GSP, uh, good clinical practice, uh, good distribution practice, and the likes. Other requirements such as e-files or SOPs, etc., are also discussed in this uh, chapter. Chapter 4, the financial management, discusses the responsibilities of the chief pharmacies, the sources of funds, and the pricing of medicines. Part 2, where the pharmacy operations and procedures starts with Chapter 5, where drug selection uh, talks about the functions of the Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee, the role of pharmacists in the selection of drugs, uh, the factors to consider in the review and evaluation of drug product list, drug product selection processes, Chapter 6, or drug procurement, uh, discusses the uh, considerations in the preparation of uh, project procurement management plan, or the PPMP, the process and timelines of procurement, other means of acquiring drugs and medicines, and the compassionate special permit, or the CSP. For Chapter 7, or the drug storage security and their control, uh, this chapter talks about the WHO Annex Guide to Good Storage Practice, uh, procedures in storage of medicines, uh, inventory management, and the uh, subtopics on return uh, complaints and the uh, disposal of drugs. For Chapter 8, or the Drug Distribution and Utilization, uh, it discusses the roles and responsibilities of pharmacies in the drug distribution, uh, the different drug distribution system, including the UDDDS, uh, Medicines for Emergency treatment and high alert medications. Okay, so for chapter 9 or dangerous drugs and their control, again the responsibilities of the chief pharmacists and staff were discussed, processes in handling of dangerous drugs, and the special prescription form for dangerous drugs or the SPFDD. Okay, for chapter 10 or the clinical pharmacy, uh, there are the standards identified such as the policies, competencies, the forms, and the monitoring tool. For Chapter 11, or the compounding service, uh, it provides um, the, no, the how to set up a compounding service, staff competency, and the trainings needed. For Chapter 12, for the records and reports, list of records that must be kept in the pharmacy, and the reports that must be submitted to various offices. Okay, for the Last part, or the part three, continuous quality improvement for pharmacy service. Okay, so chapter 13, or the CQI for pharmacy, it introduces the pharmacy's EQI committee, its members and functions, and the role of pharmacist. In chapter 14, or the research and training, again, the role of pharmacist. The learning and development interventions, our staff development plan, continuing education, and also the internship and preceptorship. As mentioned, there are tools in this manual, the Clinical Pharmacy Monitoring Tool and the Hospital Pharmacy Standard Self-Assessment Tool. Okay, so a little bit more about the Hospital Pharmacy Standard Self-Assessment Tool. Okay, it has five, uh, it is five pages long, uh, divided into 10 sections, and it answers questions with the yes, no, or not applicable, and ask evidence as verification of the answers. So a separate department memorandum will direct health facilities to submit an accomplished self-assessment tool later, which will be used as our baseline data for hospital pharmacists in the Philippines. A flash on your screen is the cover of the Hospital Pharmacy Management Manual 4th edition. It has been circularized last June 2020 through the Department Circular number 2020-0235 and you may get a copy or access a copy through the link provided on your screen. Okay, so let me share with you the other DHFDB programs. So flash on your screen are the systems, programs, projects, databases lodged under the Health Facility Development Bureau. So if you have any uh, uh, clarifications or you need more information about the mentioned programs, 
you may contact us at the following information or details. Uh, for hospital pharmacy management specific queries, you may email us at hpmm at doh.gov.ph. That's the last slide. Okay, maraming salamat po.